Abby Steiner right now is one of the biggest names in track and field. But why wouldn't she be? She was the American champion in the 200 meter dash in 2022 and a world championship finalist in that same event and then became a world champion in the 4 x 400 meter relay. But honestly, she's most well known for everything she did while competing in college at Kentucky. Cause Abby didn't just win, she dominated. She broke the collegiate record in the 200, both indoors and outdoors, and became the NCAA champion in both events back to back. So in 2023, almost everybody expected her to take the next step and compete for a world championship in her signature event. But I wasn't really in that group. And it's not because I'm a hater. It's because your first full year as a pro almost always doesn't go according to plan. Cause if you were paying attention at the world championships, you should have noticed that Abby Steiner wasn't there. She actually didn't qualify to represent Team USA at all. And although she wasn't 100% throughout most of her season, there is a legitimate reason why her first year as a pro likely took a toll on her physically. The truth is that Abby Steiner is just one of many track stars to go pro after dominating at the NCAA level. And regardless of who you are or how talented you might be, pro track and field is an entirely different animal because the clock might work just the same as it did in college, but almost nothing else is the same the moment you leave the track, which is why most of them fall off immediately thereafter. So the path forward for her runs through the fire, just the same as it has for every other young pro before her. And no, you don't have to agree with me. That is what the comment section is for, and I try to read them all. So this is why Abby Steiner, along with every other future track star, will likely struggle at least for a while, the moment after they turn pro. And the only way to survive is to adapt or die. First things first, I gotta make it clear that I'm not making this up. Cause when a Star Trek athlete first turns pro after college, they almost always have success immediately, right out of the gate. For Abby Steiner, that meant winning the USA meet in the 200 meter dash against all the pros, including Olympian, Gabby Thomas, and now world champion Sha'Carri Richardson. But during that same season, she wasn't the only college athlete to win in the sprint. The 100 meter dash champion for Team USA was Melissa Jefferson, now formerly of Coastal Carolina University. Both of them were NCAA champions in 2022 and showed up to the USA meet just weeks after that season ended. And then they became American champions and then world championship finals. In fact, college runners show up and show out at the USA Championships all the time. Cause in that same year, the women's 400 meter dash was also won by a college runner, Talitha Diggs of the University of Florida. And in case you didn't know, Micaiah Williams of Oregon barely missed out on making Team USA in the 100 meter dash by two hundredths of a second. The men who beat him went one, two, and three at the world championships in that event. And ironically, everyone else in the world who lost to them in that final race lost by a whole lot larger a margin than he did. And the year 2023 was no different because Courtney Lindsay made Team USA in the men's 200 meter dash beating out Fred Curley to do it. But what all the athletes I just mentioned have in common is they were coming off of a college season at the time. In 2023, that was not true for Abby Steiner anymore. So her performances were likely going to change. Believe it or not, college runners actually have a benefit over all the pros when they compete at the USA's and later at the World Championships. They run a whole bunch of races during the indoor and outdoor track seasons. And all of those races are in the NCAA, 
which means they are contested on American soil. Even the teams that travel the most don't have to travel on planes for most of the season. And jet lag is hardly a problem for any college athlete. The coach in me knows that when you are training an athlete, the goal is to push them as hard as you can while giving them enough time for their bodies to recover. And if you are a good coach, I should be able to make you faster the longer the season actually goes. So long as your body doesn't break under the stress of it all. It's why a sprinter can run a PR one week and tweak a hamstring the next. Cause that happened to me in college more than once. These college athletes, just like Abby Steiner did, show up to the USA meet with a whole bunch of races under their belt and no international flights that they had to sit through. But all of the real pros who are competing at the USA Championships and beyond had a very different schedule leading up to that meet. They don't have college training staff anymore or college meal plans. They have to get up in the morning and drive to work like normal adults, even if that work is on the track. But beyond that, they have to travel all around the country and halfway around the world just to keep on doing their jobs as professional track athletes. In 2022, Gabby Thomas competed in Bermuda, Italy, Great Britain, and Qatar, not to mention three separate USA time zones, all before she showed up to the USA Championship meet. And she didn't even get anywhere near as many race attempts as Abby Steiner did with all of that travel. So it makes a whole lot of sense why Gabby Thomas was banged up before she even got on the starting line at the USA Championships. And the funny thing is, nobody really cared because Gabby Thomas was coming off of an Olympic medal winning performance in 2021. And that means she was supposed to win in 2022, but she didn't win or run anything close to her personal best. And nobody cared. Because the moment she stepped on the line, her reputation was on the line with it. And nobody wants to hear a story about why she wasn't her best, even if injuries are a part of that narrative. But now Abby Steiner is Gabby Thomas. She is a pro athlete who had to fly to Bermuda, Qatar, Italy, and France, all before showing up at the USA Championship meet. And of course, she was banged up by the time she got there. She couldn't even run close to what she's capable of. And once again, nobody cared because she still stepped up to the line. And that means her reputation was on the line as well. So this is the new normal because Abby Steiner is a professional who won more races in 2023 than she lost. But all that really matters is that the one race she needed to run her best at was the USA Championships. And unfortunately, that didn't happen. But Gabby Thomas is back on her game as the world championship silver medalist now. And in case you weren't paying attention, she is faster than Allison Felix ever was in the 200. So just like her and all the other pros who are going to actually make it on the track, I expect Abby Steiner to adapt cause she doesn't really get a choice in the matter. She's gonna have to learn how to run fast and stay healthy while she's doing it, while traveling to a whole bunch of different time zones and sleeping in a whole bunch of different hotels and even eating strange food while figuring out how to win the entire time. My college coach, Giulio Piazza, used to tell us that the great ones adjust. So if Abby Steiner's true greatness is going to reveal itself in time for the 2024 Olympics, she's gonna have to make a whole bunch of adjustments along the way. I'm Coach Rob, and thank you so much for watching this video. And if you want to see more content like this, then please like and subscribe.